Which method of cooking is going to boil water quicker, induction or gas? Let's check it out. How's it going guys? Thanks for watching another video. So I was born and raised in Hawaii using electric stoves and that's one of the bummers about living in Hawaii. Most of the homes out there only have electric stoves. So when I got here to Vegas and I had gas, I was like, yes, I don't got to wait 20 minutes to boil water anymore. Now, the other day, as I was walking through Home Depot and you see all those new shiny appliances, I saw the induction stoves and I wondered, I wonder if the induction burners can boil water quicker than gas. So here's what I got going on. I got a pot, put 10 cups of water in there, cranked both of them up all the way, and I just timed to see which one was going to boil water quicker. Now, I know it's not very scientific. The induction burners high might be higher than the gas or vice versa, but let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start with the gas. You're gonna hear some clicks, then whoosh. There's my phone on the bottom left there, acting as the timer. If you stop it at seven minutes, you're gonna notice that nothing really is going on. What I was trying to do was get it to a rolling boil because that's where most of us are gonna do our cooking. Nothing's happening. Now, when we switch over to the induction burner, you're gonna notice that the rolling boil is at full blast at seven minutes. So the induction burner clearly by far heats and boils water quicker. And I also noticed that the boiling was more even, like I had more bubble columns coming out of the induction burner than I did with the gas. So in this case, induction burner wins 100%. All right guys, so there you have it. The induction burner brought the water to a boil about two minutes quicker than my gas burner on my gas stove. So if you're in a situation where you're tired of dealing with an electric stove, induction is a great way to go. Now I don't know how much more money you're gonna spend in electricity versus having gas piped into your house, but I do know that if you have aluminum pots and pans like this, it's not gonna work. You gotta have something that's magnetic, like cast iron or stainless. Guys, that's the ending of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to Chemo 365, please do. And remember, I'll catch you guys later.